Good morning, everybody. I make no apology for my straggly beard. I am staying at home, protecting the NHS and saving lives. I've been told to make this very official. The District Advisory Board report to the 2020 District Assembly. My technological skills are limited, but I can confirm that logos both at the top and the bottom of this report do exist. District Assembly Board report. Dear delegates, friends and everybody else on Zoom. Yes, I am ad-libbing a bit. The District Advisory Board has met on five separate occasions in the last Assembly year. We also met with the NTC Principal, the District NY President and the District NMI President at our yearly strategy meetings. As many of you will remember, two years ago, the District Advisory Board reported that the British Isles South District was in crisis. Last year, the District Assembly elected a new District Superintendent, the Reverend Carl McCann, and subsequently, a District Ministerial team was appointed. These measures, we believe, have been a step forward towards recognising that new vision and united leadership is needed to bring healthy local churches together to become part of a healthy district. Whilst we have somewhere to go, the DAB is working hard with Carl and the team to bring new vision into reality. We make the following recommendations. Number one, that the District Advisory Board continues as the District Properties Board. I hope you've all taken notice of that particular one. That Ministerial Benevolence be continued to the Reverends Attle Arnold, Robert Barker, Lon Bean, Joe Bentham, Rosemary Brown, Clive Burrows, Leslie Evans, John Lilly, Bruce Lloyd, Dr. Herbert McGonigal, Don Mensch, David Perry, Ken Prescott, Werner Stoppler, Tony Tamborella, and David Thurkle. Three, the widow's benevolence be continued to Edith Brown, Esme Dixon, Mary Flint, Francis Gentry, Eunice Longworth, Bill McNeil, Pam Townsend, and Mary Webster. Four, that having been promoted to glory, the name of the Reverend Michael Tewksbury be removed from the role of elders. Five, that the Reverend Tim Burton be transferred to the British Isles North District. Six, that the transfers of Reverend Colin McConkey and Reverend Nicole McConkey from the British Isles North District be accepted. Seven, that we adopt the Joint District Report on Pastoral Remuneration. Eight, that the Assembly notes that the District Advisory Board has agreed a policy on manses owned by the British Isles South District, and we will be discussing this with the churches involved. Number nine, which is, was not on my report for March 2020, is to say that Carl and the District Advisory Board have already had a meeting to discuss the effects COVID-19 pandemic is having on churches. We assure you of our support and we assure you of our love and prayers. Respectfully submitted, S.F. Leach, DAB Secretary. <laughs>